but the message was given to them from God for the people. Amen. Viewers and listeners, that same message that was given to the prophets and was given to the apostles was given to us. Amen. Amen. And the message is plain and simple. Be ye holy. That's right. For the Lord our God is holy. That's right. That is the name of our religion. Amen. Holiness. Amen. Because it is the reflection of God himself. Amen. Amen. God did not purpose for us to be like anything else or anybody else. That's right. But like him. Amen. So we're at the close of our national convocation for this millennium. That's true. That's something to think of, isn't it? Yes, it is. I know there are many philosophers and Bible scholars who teach that the Lord is coming in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. Bible don't teach it, so we don't believe it. Amen. Amen. And if he was coming, who's acting like it? That's right. That's right. You know if the Lord was really coming in the year 2000 and folk knew it for sure. Oh, Lord. I believe you would see more change in the earth. That's right. Amen. Amen. But you that make such false prophecies, not even you believe it. Because you are make it and lie while you're making it. That's right. So this broadcast is dedicated to all the members of the body. <laughs> to you that are listening in around the world, to the saints of High Wycombe, England and London. Ghana, West Africa, and Nigeria, and Zimbabwe, and Zambia, and Kenya, and to the saints in Cape Town, South Africa, to all our viewing audience that see this program in different parts of America, this program was ordained of God to get you straightened out. Amen. We're not over the air to proselyte you. We're not over the air to beg you for money. We're over the air to save your soul if you want to be saved. Amen. Now, if you don't want to be saved and the Bible don't interest you, this program is the wrong thing to listen to or look at. That's Amen. right. If you want to find out whether you're a Christian or not, listen closely. Amen. Is that right, brethren? Amen. You want to find out whether you're Christ-like <laughs> at all. That's right. Call your father, your mother, call your family, get on the phone and call them. Tell them something different is on. Look at this. Amen. One scripture says, come see. <laughs> we got something good to give you. Amen. We didn't make up nothing. I didn't sit up all night and prepare an Independence Day sermon. No. No, you didn't. For July 4th. That's right. You're not free. No. You're bound in sin. Amen. That's your firecracker. <laughs> That's your firework right there. That's right. <coughs> because you're popping around the world. That's right. And you're popping and exploding around in sin. Amen. So we come along with the fire holes of the scriptures to put your flame out. I want to say to my viewers of Portland, Oregon to remember August 14th and 15th I'll be returning back to your area, God willing at the CEI Center 3920 North Kirby Street in Portland, Oregon that's August 14th and 15th Saturday service will begin at uh, 4 o'clock p.m. Sunday services 12 noon and 6 p.m. Portland, Oregon Get yourself ready. Call your pastor. Call your reverend. Call your woman preacher. Call your transvestite elder. Amen. Call your lesbian deaconess. Call them. They need the Holy Ghost too. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. To my visitors, make yourself at home. I'm not sorry for the heat. Thank God for the heat. You choose. 
this heat or will you understand or the heat that's coming because there's some heat coming that have nothing to do with the sun that's right it has nothing to do with the moon it has nothing to do with the stars that's right it is God's anger in the form of fire made to get even with man for the wickedness that he have committed here in the earth Amen. why is hell called a bottomless pit to let you know that God's anger will never cease during that time. That's right. Why does hell consist of darkness? Because darkness is the reason for it coming into existence. Darkness is the symbol of sin. That's right. Why does hell consist of fire? Because fire itself is the anger that the people have caused God to have Amen. because of their conduct. Amen. So God sent us along to save you from hell. Oh, yeah. Do you want to be saved? Yes. Write me, drop me a postcard. Yeah. FedEx me something. That's right. Tell me, do you want to be saved or are you happy the way you are? Mm -hmm. Now some of you are the ignorance you're happy the way you are because yeah. you're the devil. That's right. Bible says you of your father the devil. That's yeah. right. I'm not going to tell you you some Christian and you drunk as a fish. No, Amen. no. You are a drunken child of the devil. Drunk. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Amen. All right, I got some letters to get out the way. Then afterward, I'm going to get you. <laughs> get ready for it. Get ready for it because I'm after you. God is after you through me. That's right. Get what I said now. That's right. I say That's God right. is after you That's through right. me. Amen. 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 God sent me to you to get oh. after you to chase you down with Bible. That's right. Oh yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. That's the way God man is. Amen. He's sent out by God to go after the people to turn them from darkness to light. That's right. So God sent me to you. I'm in behind you. In behind you. Everybody. Everybody. Amen. I'm after you. Amen. God sick me on you like a pit bull. That's right. Amen. I'm going to tell your religion to pieces too. That's Amen. right. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. All right, Dan. Let's go to work and get these letters out the way because one letter I can't wait to get. Somebody pick a fight with me. He's a good man, isn't he? Amen. I came in the building today and there was a gentleman downstairs and hand me a letter. Then he walked out got the letter in my office and I opened it up and read it. Gave me a threat. My Lord. Hmm. My Lord. Let me say this. Hmm. To all the people that see this program. Amen. Let me make this clear. Absolutely. Stop threatening Pastor Jennings and come live up to your talk. Amen. That's right. Do you see me running at all? I don't care if you're white as the Pillsbury snowman. That's right. Amen. Or black as the street. That's right. Or yellow as butter. Amen. I don't care what religion you represent. Amen. It doesn't matter who hired you to bump me off. Amen. The address is 24 31 Frankfurt Avenue. Amen. You can catch me either Tuesday or Thursday. Or practically every first Sunday. Right. Put up or shut up. Right. Are you listening? Right. I don't run from nobody's threat. Amen. God made me like I am. Amen. That's why my mouth is so wide. Yes. There's more with me than that's with anything. That's right. Go and see you talking about them few people? No. Uh, no. 
What's with me? You can't see. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 If I was afraid of anybody, anywhere, Hallelujah! Then your threats. Would bother me. That's right. But God is with us. That's right. Amen. And no power in America Amen. or the world That's right. can stop me from doing what God told me to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God is the greatest. That's right. It's not a man living that goes for anybody in here. My Lord. Or looking in or listening in. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's born or that's going to be born. Amen. That have enough resources My Lord. from America Amen. to Canada Amen. to South America or the third world. Amen. Can stop me from doing what God told me to do. Amen. Amen. You know what I think of your threat? Wonderful. Praise him. That's right. Wonderful. I don't have a scared nerve in me. No, you don't. I am not the wrong man to bother. I'm the right one to bother. That's Amen. right. All right. Amen. So ahead, please, ahead. I encourage you. Amen. Amen. Live up to your talk. Yes, Amen. If you're able. If you're Amen. able. I say you're not able. That's right. Because the Bible said there is no weapon form. No weapon form. That, that can prosper. That's right. No. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hold out your threats. That's right. You can pack Frankfurt Avenue and block traffic. Amen. I'm not running from nobody in the world. God made me like I am. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. Let's get the mail and go to work. Come on, son. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Dear Pastor Jennings, mm -hmm. I like the way you speak from the Bible. You can be my pastor anytime because you don't talk about a lot of junk or about gossip. You bring everything right down up front. Mm -hmm. Keep up the true teachings of God. Amen. With the help of God, I do that. Here is a small token towards your ministry. Thank you kindly. Frank Pope, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Wonderful letter. All right. Violent, New Jersey. God bless you in your ministry. Ever since I tuned in to Channel 61 on Sunday at 10 a.m., my life has been enriched. On June 18th, 1999, I returned by ambulance after six years in Newcomb Center. Thank God, thanks to God, the great physician, I am once more at home. I am going about getting inspirational messages of God's love to others. We are responsible for helping to bring souls to Christ. Thank God for you who explains to all who, who will listen God's will and his way. Mm -hmm. Soon as I can, I shall have a, lot, a love gift on the way. The hospital prevented me from doing that this month. You are a credit to all who serve. A beautiful smile and love for, for, for everyone. God bless you and your family. Mildred Monroe, Vineland, New Jersey. Miss Monroe, thank you for that wonderful letter. All right. Bristol, New Jersey. Yeah. Dear Pastor Jennings. Mm hmm My name is Van Richardson. Yes. And I'm an inmate at Southwood State Prison. I listen to your program almost weekly. Because before I continue with the purpose of this mission, yeah. I would like to make you aware of the fact that I am studying to become a Jehovah's Witness. Mm -hmm. Now I would like to take this time to sock you with some scriptures. Oh, not too hard. Amen. I do hard now. Mm -hmm. First, I heard you say, many I love times, a man yeah. who believes he can fight. Yes. Yes. Don't know how to hold his hand. Amen. Amen. Well, at least he believed he can fight. Oh, yeah. You want to sock me? All right, let's see how good you can jab. Yeah. All right? 
First, I've heard you say many times that when we die, we go to heaven. You never heard me say that. No, <laughs> never. When you die, you go to the grave. That's Amen. right. Amen. Never. Must be getting me mixed up with some other fella. Amen. When you die, the Bible says no man hath ascended up into heaven at any time but he that came down. That's right. That's not my teaching. No. Nor the teaching of the prophets or Jesus or the apostles. When you die, you go to heaven. Amen. Why you think you got a cemetery out there? That's right. Yeah? That's right. Glory to God. So if you're going to represent me, represent me right or don't represent me at all. Amen. Come on, son. Have you read Psalms chapter 37? Yes. Jehovah created this earth for the righteous to live forever upon it. Mm -hmm. Also, you talk about the unrighteous will go to hell when they die. That's right. Once again, not true. We'll see. The unrighteous, when found in the book of life, will receive the second death and no more or no less. Mm -hmm. Also, I'd like to ask you a question. How could such a loving God <laughs> torment the people that he created forever? Have you read Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10? I've also heard you say that Jesus Christ is God. That's my teaching. Amen. Now I don't negate the fact that Jesus is a mighty God, but he isn't God Almighty. I teach he's the Almighty. That's Amen. right. That's my doctor. That's right. I hope I got a Jehovah Witness follower, others listening in. I want to contact your elder. That's Amen. Right. Because when one Jehovah Witness say he going to sock me, oh, yeah. I mean all of you sock me. That's Amen. right. So now, <laughs> this is a challenge here. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. On this telecast, mm -hmm. we're going to challenge the teaching mm -hmm. of the Jehovah Witness Amen. organization. Amen. I'm going to challenge your comic book watchtower. Amen. I'm going to challenge you on Jesus Christ being God. Amen. I'm going to challenge you on there is no hell. Right. I'm going to challenge you on the earth will stay forever. That's right. You pick up any scripture you want. Pitch it and I'll hit it. That's right. Amen. Come on, Dan. Let's go to work. I've heard you say that Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Now, I don't negate the fact that Jesus is a mighty God. Yeah. But he isn't God almighty. We will see. Our Amen. Heavenly Father has a name. Yes. His name name is Jehovah. Yeah. Have you read John 14, 28? Yeah. I am sure that we both concur that God cannot lie. Yeah. So if you've read this script, these scriptures that I've mentioned, you'll see what I am, that I am right. Last, however, not least, have you read Psalms 83, 18? Yes. Lord isn't a name. It's simply a title. That's right. Now I'm well, sure. But he got some truth there, don't he? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, that's what the devil do. He picture a few things of truth. That's right. Then slap you with a lie like it did Eve. That's, that's right. right. All right. Now I'm sure that we will also agree on the fact that the father of all names has himself a name. His name is Jehovah. All right. If you are not teaching the whole truth, then that's what would make you, too, a false prophet. Mm -hmm. So, in essence, if you are going to teach the truth, don't change it for your convenience. All right. I am sure that you will read my letter on the air. Got that right, brother. Amen. <laughs> However, the things that I have mentioned in it, I would like to hear your opinion on them. You're not going to hear my opinion at all. Not at all. That's right. right. We're going to dive into your scriptures. Amen. That's right. We're going to take your scriptures apart. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's I back up, Dan. Amen. And pick up the first statement he made when he, first thing he's dealing with in reference to their doctrine. First, I've heard you say many times that when we die, we go to heaven. Well, that's, no, you never heard me say that. No. no. That's right. You never heard me say that. When you die, you go to the grave. That's, that's right. It's right. appointed once for the man to die after death judgment. judgment. Amen. All right, let's get his next statement. Also, I'd like to ask you a question. All right. How could, you, how could such a loving God torment the people that he created forever? Easy. Have Easy. you read Ecclesiastes 9 10? Let's get his script. Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. And Ecclesiastes now, 9. let me say to every viewer and every listener whenever any religion, any, mm -hmm. any so called preacher, Amen. take one scripture and make it mm. contradict Amen. another scripture. Right. right. You don't know what you're doing with the Bible at all. That's right. Jehovah Witnesses, this is your time. That's right. You're going to make you famous. You're going to make you more known than what you are. Amen. And by the time we're done with the Bible, everybody going to know that your whole religion is a bundle of trash for hell. That's right. Will you take that? Amen. All right, let's start swinging with the Bible. In Ecclesiastes, let's get his scripture. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and at verse 10. Yes. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, yes. do it with thy might. Yes. For there is no work 
nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. What was his statement? How could you, how could such a loving God torment the people that he created forever? Let's see what God going to do. What are you going to do? Give me the book of Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter. And we get the book of Mark. Amen. Come on, son. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and at verse 21. Listen closely. They have moved me to jealousy. I tell you how a loving God can do it. Mm -hmm. Tell me, was it not the loving God Jehovah? Amen. That burnt up Sodom and Gomorrah? That's right. That's right. Am I right, brethren? That's right. That's right. Was it not the loving God of Noah? Amen. That flooded the whole world with water? That's right. And only eight were saved? That's right. Amen. But he's still a loving God. Still loving. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let me tell you what the loving God said he do. Amen. Before you read that, Deuteronomy 32, 39. Deuteronomy 32 and at verse 39. Listen at what Jehovah says that he do. See now that I. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am he. Am he. And there is no there God is with no me. no God with me. I. God said I. Kill. Jesus. Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. Is this the loving God saying this? Yes, it is. See now that I. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am he. Am he. And there is no God with me. There is no God with me. I. I. Kill. God talking. That's right. Loving God. God say, I kill. And I make alive. I make alive. I. I. Wound. Amen. The loving God said, I wound, I, I afflict pain, That's I right. hurt. That's right. That's loving God. The loving God. The loving God. That's right. That's right. You don't know this God that you talk about. That's it. Listen at the scriptures. I wound. I wound. And I heal. And I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Amen. In the Amen. days of Lot. Amen. Amen. There was a place called Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. Full of sissies. Sissies. That's right. Sodomites. That's right. Funny old men and funny young men. Amen. Go ahead. Jehovah came in town. That's right. That's as right. a symbol of two men. Two yeah. men. That's right. He appeared as two to establish his wrath will be against the conduct. That's right. Go ahead. He had to get luck out of town first. Out of town. Amen. And look at what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. In Genesis chapter 19 and at verse 23. Real quick. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Yes. Then the Lord. Then the Lord. Reigned upon Sodom. Reigned upon Sodom. And upon Gomorrah. And upon Gomorrah. Brimstone and fire. No. Candy and ice cream. Brimstone and fire. Roses and pebbles. Brimstone and fire. Frankincense and myrrh. Brimstone and fire. Amen. Gifts and presents. Brimstone and fire. Cake and ice cream. Brimstone and fire. The loving God did what? Then the Lord reigned upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah. Brimstone and fire mm -hmm. from the Lord. From the Lord. Out of heaven. Out of where? A out of heaven. Amen. No, no. Amen. Out of where? Out of heaven. This brimstone and fire came from what location? Out of heaven. Amen. 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 And what was his question? How could you, how could such a loving God torment the people that he created forever? Now, mm -hmm. let's see 
What provoked them? In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and at verse 21. I'll read the Bible, Jehovah Witnesses, follow me. Amen. Amen. Call your elder. That's right. Call them, follow me. That's right. Amen. Listen at the Bible. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 21. Yeah. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. The people have moved God or provoked God to jealousy. That's right. Amen. Because their conduct was not godly. They have provoked me to anger. They have provoked them to anger, yet he's a loving God. That's, That's right. right. But they made them angry with their vanities. With their vanity. They were caught up in vain things. And I will move them to jealousy. God said, I will get you in the town. With those which are not a people. Yeah. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Yeah. For a fire. A fire is kindled. Is kindled in mine anger. And what have come about because of this anger? They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. Yes. For a fire is kindled in my name. And what? And shall burn. And shall burn. Unto the lowest hell. Unto the lowest hell. Yes, and shall consume the earth. He going to consume the earth. With her increase. With everything in it. And yes. set on fire. And set on fire. The foundations yes. of the mountains. The mountains going to be Hallelujah. blown up. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to know how can he do it? Amen. Because Mark. of the lies that you teach and other religions teach lies. That's right. And the cost of the lies that is put in the earth That's from right. the pulpit. Amen. You got God angry at you, Jehovah Witnesses. That's right. That's right. And don't worry. Don't worry. He's going to get you, bub. Yes, he will. Mark. Mark chapter 9 and at verse 43. Now, let's see what's going to happen. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. And I mean cut off your natural hand. No, no. Your hand is a very important member of the body. That's right. So God letting you know if you're holding on to something or have something that just is as valuable or as important as your hand is, mm -hmm. and that thing will cause you to be lost, cut it loose from that thing or break it loose from that thing. That's right. Uh -huh. It is better for thee to enter into life made. It is better for thee to enter into life without what you love. Then... Then having two hands to have everything in life to go into hell. Amen. Amen. Into hell. Go where? Go into hell. Amen. What hell is it talking about? Into the fire. And where? Into the fire. Will it ever go out? That never shall be quenched. That means forever and ever. That's where right. there worm? You know who's the worm? That's right. You are Jehovah Witness. That's right. You are. That's right. You worm that see you crawling up on people porch, Amen. knocking on their door. That's right. Waking them up out of a good sleep. Amen. You old worm. worm. That's right. Huh? That's right. The Bible said where the worm dieth not. You won't die. And the fire. And the fire is not quenched. Will never go out. For everyone. Everyone. Shall be salted. Shall be what? Hallelujah. Everyone. Everyone. Shall be salted. Shall be salted. With fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I mean you're going to be blanketed. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Covered. Covered. That's right. How can he do it? That's right. Because the Bible said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Amen. Meaning he's a God of his word. That's Amen. right. And if he said the worm won't die won't and the die. fire won't let up, the hell you going. That's right. All right, let's get his next statement. I have also heard. And listen, say. listen to all the witnesses. Mm -hmm. I'm open for argument. Oh, yeah. That's right. We oh, yeah. don't have to do it behind closed doors either. Oh, That's okay. right. Let's have a showdown before the public. That's right. And give Bible where there is no hell. Amen. I see the Bible is full of hell. Yes, it is. Bible said the wicked shall be turned into That's hell. Right. That's right. That include you. That's yeah. right. That's right. Glory That's to right. God, Amen. glory to God. Go ahead. Are you listening at the troublemaker here? Amen. Come on, son. Let's get the next statement. I have also heard you say that Jesus Christ is God. That's my doctrine. Now, Amen. I don't negate the fact that Jesus is the mighty God. Yes. But he, he is God Almighty. Let's see. Listen. Give me Isaiah 96. Isaiah 96. Let's get the mighty God. That's because right. it mentioned their mighty God and it also mentioned Almighty. That's right. Oh, yes. Yes, it did. Huh? That's right. Someone said, I thought Isaiah 96 just mentioned mighty God. Oh, no. It mentioned mighty God and Almighty. Amen. And I'm going to tell you how. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 6. Come on, keep pitching. I'm up the back. Come on now. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a child is born. Get this. Unto us a son is given. Now. Child is born is talking about the arrival of the Son of God. That's right. Because God is not a child. Amen. In order for us to be saved or redeemed back. 
Right. That the holy estate that we lost in the Garden of Eden because mm -hmm. of the transgression and the violation. Amen. Because our first father had sinned, which was Adam. That's yeah. right. Some blood had to be shed. Amen. Amen. And the blood of bullocks and heifers and sacrifices could not redeem us. Amen. Because the blood was not clean or worthy mm -hmm. or had power to redeem. That's right. right. No man was qualified. Mm -hmm. No man was able to redeem the human family and pull them back Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. So God Almighty couldn't do it because he was spirit. That's right. And God knew it took blood to atone right. for the sins of man. That's right. So God visited the house of David and got a woman who was of the tribe of Judah. Amen. From the descendants of Shem, the brother of Ham and Japheth, the right. sons of Noah. That's right. And God, God. got in, listen, Go Jehovah. 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 That's right. Make it plain. Jehovah Isaac. That's right. The everlasting father. Amen. The king made a prince. That's right. That's right. And the prince had the title son of man. Amen. Amen. Son of God, which means servant of God. That's right. God did not become man. No, no. God made man, then got in the man that he made. That's right. That's right. The man took on the name Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And the man began to function in the capacity of Christ. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Christ means anointed one. That's right. And the Spirit of God, go to God. Go ahead. Anointed the man. That's right. The man, Christ Jesus, was in God. No, what no. was in the man was God, right. and the name the man wore was the name of God. That's right. That's right. That's why he said, I come in my Father's name. In my Father's name. That's right. Go ahead. Amen. It's like a tailor that makes a suit. Go ahead. That's right. Then the tailor put his name in the suit. That's right. Then he put the suit on. Put it on. That's, That's right. right. Jesus is an inherited name. Yes, it is. That's right. It is a treasure. Yes, it is. It is valuable. That's right. Because it is a name that is the very symbol of salvation or deliverance itself. itself. Amen. So God brought the name. From heaven. That's right. Because it isn't an earthly name. No, no. It is a heavenly name first. First. Amen. That's Amen. right. And then the man took on God's name. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. you say Jehovah mm -hmm. is his name forever. Forever. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's get his scripture. Because mm -hmm. there was a time where the name Jehovah wasn't known. That's yeah. true. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Let's You're get right. that scripture. That's right. I said there was a time that the name Jehovah mm -hmm. was not even known. Was known. That's right. Huh? That's First right. in Psalms 83. Listen at Psalms 83. And at verse 18. And verse 18. Let me teach you, Mr. Witness. Yes, that sir. men may know. That men may know. That thou. That thou. Whose name alone. Who names alone. Is Jehovah. Is Jehovah. Art the most high over all the, the earth. Now art the most high over all the earth. All the earth. Amen. And in Exodus. Uh oh. Chapter 6. Listen at this. And at verse 3. Exodus 6 and 3. And I appeared unto Abraham. God talking. God talking. Talking, I believe, to Moses. Yes, sir. And God spake unto Moses. God speak to Moses. And said unto him. And said to him. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham. And I am the same one that appeared to Abraham. Unto Isaac. Unto Isaac. And unto Jacob. And unto Jacob. By the name. By the name. Of God Almighty. I came to them as God Almighty. But. But by my name Jehovah. By my name Jehovah. Was I not known? They didn't know me, but to them. Right. Amen. Didn't know. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. And yet he's the same one. Same one. That's right. He's Amen. called Jehovah. Go ahead. Go ahead. When Moses questioned him, who shall I say send me? Send me. That's right. Tell him I am. I am. Amen. Amen. Tell him I am. That's right. What is his I am name? that I am. What do you mean? Amen. I'm life. Mm -hmm. I'm death. That's right. I'm a healer. Amen. I'm a redeemer. That's right. When the wind blows, that's me. That's right. Go ahead. I'm everything. Go ahead. 
right. I am what I want to be, when I want to be, That's and right. who I choose to be. That's yeah. right. Who you choose to be, yes. Amen. When did you choose to be somebody? Amen. I will come to Abraham as Melchizedek. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And I will wear a title of priest. A wonderful teaching. Of the Most High God. Amen. When you try to search out my, back, my background, you won't find no beginning of days. Amen. You won't find no end of life. And you won't find no descent. That's right. That's right. If I have no beginning, I always was. Amen. If I have no ending, I always will be. That's right. He's Jehovah. And he's Lord God Almighty. God Almighty. Now, Amen. a certain day had to arrive mm -hmm. that his name mm -hmm. would come in the fullness of time. That's right. Why? The Bible says, mm -hmm. even so we were children in bondage under the elements of the world. the world. That's right. When the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, son. made of a woman, mm -hmm. made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, under the law. that we may receive the adoption of sons. sons. Yes, that's right. The key word is the fullness of time. Fullness of the time. Come. That's right. And when the fullness of time would come, Amen. it would be the fullness mm -hmm. of the manifestation Amen. of God right. in a man. That's, that's right. right. Give me Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 14 and at verse 9. Parliament, Jehovah Witness. Zechariah 14 and verse 9. All right. And the Lord shall be king. The Lord shall be king. Over all the earth. Over all the earth. In that day. I told you a particular day had to come. In that day. Amen. Out of all the days that passed, mm -hmm. they called him many things. That's Amen. Right. But there was an arrival of a certain day. That's right. In that day. In that day. What? Shall there be one Lord. Shall there be one Lord. And his name. And the name of this Lord. One. Amen. Amen. Let's see the name that the Lord said that he had. Amen. In Acts chapter 9 and at verse 5. Listen. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 5. All right. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, And the Lord said, I, I am, am Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Now, let's straighten this almighty business almighty out. Right. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 9 and 6 deal with mighty and almighty. That's, That's right. right. Yes, I preach Jesus Christ as God. That's right. And uh, I preach there is no God but him. Amen. That's right. That's and right. any other God, mm -hmm. any other. Any others. Apart from the almighty God that Pastor Jennings preached here in Philadelphia, born in Temple Hospital, February 10th, 1963. Mm -hmm. That's right. Any other God apart from the one that I preach about is a false God. That's Amen. right. That's right. And if you have him. Amen. Amen. Listen. If you have any other God, go ahead, go ahead. Apart from the God that I bark about, go ahead. Then I challenge you and your God. That's Amen. right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Listen at the Bible. Isaiah 9 and at verse 6. Hello, on, son. Let's get mighty and almighty. For unto us a child is born. Yes. Unto us a son is given. What's the result? And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And what? And his name, his name shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful is not his name. No. That's right, sir. But Amen. it said his name shall be called. Called right. Wonderful. That let you know how he functions. That's right. You use his name right, you'll see the wonderful thing wonderful. about it. That's right. What else? Counselor. Oh. oh yeah. It says the name shall be called. Name. And they're naming several things here. And the Bible says he got one name. That's right. So don't tell me all these are a bunch of names he got. Amen. Functions. That's right. He do these functions in his name. In his name. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you see someone get healed, you say, How wonderful is this word? That's right. Huh? Amen. What else is it? Counselor. When you're down and you get consolation from the word, you, right. you, you feel an upbraiding. That's right. What else? The mighty God. That's right. Mighty. Mighty. God. God. Amen. Let's see where the Almighty is. The everlasting Father. There he is. There he is. That's right. Didn't see that, did you? That. Right. Amen. Who else is everlasting? Everlasting. That's right. But David said, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. That's right. Everlasting, you all 
always will be. Always will be. That's right. That's when we right. preach Jesus Christ as God, mm -hmm. yes, sir. the man, mm -hmm. the flesh, was not God. Not the flesh. That's right. But he walked here on earth mm -hmm. in the form of man. That's right. And the man form or the man servant That's right. was the image of God right. that he took on for That's redemption. Right. That's right. Beautiful. Because something separated us from God like water separate Camden from Philadelphia. Amen. Amen. Man build a bridge. Listen what I'm about to pitch at you. That's right. I preach Jesus Christ as God. Yeah. Mary birthed Jesus. That's right. But she didn't birth God. No, no. And I preach Jesus Christ as God. That's right. Mary birthed Jesus. That's right. But Mary didn't birth God. No, no. God is eternal. That's right. God is higher than heaven. Amen. God is deeper than hell. Amen. God is broader than the sea and longer than the earth. That's right. And the Bible said God is the spirit. Amen. The Bible never said God was born. No, no. Amen. Never. Not never. even a prophet said God was born. Never. No, no. Don't say, wait a minute. The Bible said God was manifested in the flesh. That's right. That's he true. was manifested in it. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm in my suit. That's right. I'm not the suit. That's right. My Too suit moves when I move. That's, That's right. right. That body of the Son of God done the work of God will never the power of God worked in it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. God was not the Son. No, no. No, no. God was the Father. That's right. God was the Spirit. That's right. God was the highest. Amen. And in order for him to save us, he had to shed blood, so he had to get another nature. That's right. He had to get another life. Another life. Because his life was eternal. Amen. So he went to the house of David that was full of natural life. That's right. And got in the womb of a woman. Amen. And in her body, the eternal God got in there and created another life. That's right. That's right. And in the valley of the woman Amen. were two lives. Amen. John 5, 26. John 5 and at verse 26. Listen at the Bible. For as the Father, as the Father hath life, have life in himself, in himself, so hath he given, so hath he given to, the Son to the Son to have life, to have life in, himself. in himself. So in the body of the woman. Don't Amen. you know the Lord came out of Judah? Go ahead. That's right. But the Bible said, know you the Lord that he is God. That's right. But the Bible said it's quite evident that our Lord Spring out of, Judah. out of Judah. That's right. But David said the Lord is God. Amen. Go ahead. Now, if the Lord is God, how can God spring out of Judah Amen. when God was in Judah always? That's right. That's right. You quote the scripture. The Lord said Unto my Lord. My Lord. That's right. Let's get that. Amen. For the witness. <laughs> in Matthew chapter 22. Come on, witness. I want you to get this. And at verse 42. Can I get a witness? That's Amen. Right. <laughs> Come on, let's have it. Saying, what think ye of Christ? What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? Listen at this deep revelation here. They say unto him, the son of David. You're the son of David. He saith unto them. He said to them. How then doeth David in spirit. Listen closely. Amen. How do David in spirit. Call him Lord. Call him Lord. Saying the saying, Lord. Saying the Lord. Said unto said my Lord. unto my Lord. Sit thou on my right hand. Until what? Till I make right. thine enemies thy footstool. And. If David then call him Lord. If David then call him Lord. How is he his son? Amen. That's deep stuff. Yes, it That's is. Up, That's right. Now let's swim in it. Swim in it. Amen. The Lord said unto my Lord. To my Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Then you got the statement, my Lord. My Lord. That's right. The Lord is God. God. Mm -hmm. My Lord meant my son. My son. That's right. For I addressed my Lord as David's son. David's son. That's what did he right. say there? The, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, yes. till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Uh -huh. If David then call him Lord. If David call him Lord. How is he his how son? How is he his son? Son. Amen. David was his son. Mm -hmm. And he was David's son. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Amen. Get me. That's right. David oh, yeah. was his son. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. 
was David's son. That's right. For the Bible says, Have we not all one, one father? One father, that's right. Hath not one God created us? Created us. Uh -huh. Amen. David was one of the sons of God because God was the father. That's right. But yet David, Jesus was David's son. Concerning right. his son. Listen at the Bible. In Romans chapter 1 and at Concerning verse 3. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus Christ our Lord. Which was made. Which was made. Of the seed of David. How was he related? According to the flesh. According to what? According to the flesh. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. David was the father of the house that the Son of God came out of. Amen. That's right. Amen. But God, the eternal spirit, was David's father because he created David. That's right. Now, here you had God walking here on earth mm -hmm. in the likeness of sinful flesh. That's right. Not that he had sinful flesh. No, no. He was in the likeness of sinful flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, say, Jesus was a man like me. You's a fool. That's a fool. That's a fool. If he was a man like you, Amen. then why don't you got the power to redeem? That's right. That's right. That's right. Why you don't have the power to atone for no one's sin? That's right. Amen. Amen. Jesus was greater than man. Greater than man. That's right. He was the supreme sacrifice. That's right. So when he walked here on earth, mm -hmm. he was God and man, Amen. human and divine. Mm -hmm. The Amen. human was simply used for example purposes. That's right. I got to leave an example. That's right. That's right. I got to show them how to suffer. Amen. I got to show them how to endure. Mm -hmm. I got to show them how to live. That's right. I got to show them how to walk. That's right. I got to show them how to talk. Amen. In order for me to make preachers, I got to demonstrate preachers. That's right. Huh? Leaving That's us right. an example. Glory to God, the Bible says what? Leaving us an example. Leaving us an example. That ye should follow his steps. Amen. So the spirit come along stepping in a body and a body come along stepping on the earth. That's Amen. right. Yeah? That's right. That's God. And when he come along right. among us, he was Amen. called Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Amen. What is that being interpreted? God, God with, with us. us. How was he with us? In a man. That's right. The man was God's shape. God's Amen. shape was God's form. Amen. God's form was God's fashion. Amen. God's fashion was God's image. Right. God's image was God's figure. Amen. God's figure was God's star. That's Amen. right. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful. God's star mm -hmm. was the express image That's right. of God Himself. God Himself, Amen. And the light of God was in the man. Amen. Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Beautiful. Now it came time for death. Mm -hmm. and yet you say Jesus Christ is in God. Mm -hmm. John three sixteen. Amen. Let's see, can you wiggle out of this, Mr. Witness? That's right. John chapter Come 3. Come on, son, move quick. John 3 and at verse 16. First epistle, John 3, 16. First epistle of John. First epistle of John 3 and at verse 16. Listen closely. Hereby perceive we the hereby love of God. Hereby understand we God love. Because he. Hereby understand we the love of God. Love of God. Hereby perceive we the love, the of, love God. of Jehovah. That's right. Hereby understand we Jehovah's love. love. That's right. The love of God. That's right. The love of Jehovah. Amen. What did Jehovah do? Because he laid down his life for us. Amen. Mr. Whitney. Amen. When did God die? When did he die? When a life is laid down, that means a life is given. When a life is given, the life exists no more after it's given, so you're dead. That's right. That's right. The Bible says, Hereby perceive we the love of God. What did God do? Because he laid down his life for us. If Jesus Christ is in God, mm -hmm. uh -huh. when did God lay down his life? That's right. Tell me. That's right. Write me. Amen. Right. If you don't know, ask your elder. Right. And if he don't know, tell him ask his bishop. Amen. And if bishop don't know, tell him pray to Jehovah. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if you get no answer, close up shop. Close up shop. Amen. Amen. When did God lay down his life right. if it wasn't Jesus? That's right. That's right. I got That's another right. question for you. Wonderful. Isaiah 35 and 1. Amen. Amen. Come on, son. Isaiah chapter 35 and at right. verse 1. Move fast. 
The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. Yes. And the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Yes. And shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. Let's get right to the point. At verse 4. Listen. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, be fear not. Be strong, fear not. Behold. Behold. Your God will come. Your God will come. With vengeance. And he going to pay back. Even God with a recompense. Uh -huh. He will come and save you. God will come and do what? He will come right. and save you. If Jesus Christ wasn't God, right. amen. who was the Savior? That's, That's right. right. In Matthew. Right. I'm on the right hand. That's right. Listen at Matthew. Chapter 1 and verse 21. What is it? And she shall bring forth a son. What? And thou shalt call his name Jesus. What are you going to do? For he shall save his people That's from right. their sins. And what did Isaiah say? God he will come and save you. And what did Matthew say? And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. I dare you to tell me we got two saviors. That's right. Yeah. You only got one savior one here. Savior. That, that's right. Now listen to that else. What else Isaiah said God going to do when he comes? Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. When did God open the eyes of the blind? Amen. When? When? Right. What else? And the and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. When did God open the ears of the deaf? Amen. When? When? What else? Then shall the lame man leap as in heart. When did God come along healing lame folk and they went around jumping? That's Amen. Right. If Jesus didn't do all this, when did God do it? And right. the tongue. The tongue of the dumb sing. When did it do? When did it happen? That's, That's right. right. If it wasn't Jesus, that's right. This was prophesied. prophesied that's and right. after it was prophesied, right. he came here to fulfill prophecy. Jesus right. went about. Listen at the Bible. In Matthew 4 and verse 23. Beautiful. Jesus went about. And Jesus went about all Galilee. All Galilee. Teaching in their synagogues. Teaching in the synagogue. And preaching the gospel of preaching the kingdom. The gospel in the kingdom. And healing. Healing. All manner of sickness. All manner of sickness. And all right. manner of disease. All manner of disease. Among the people. Among the people. And his fame went out. His fame went out. Throughout all Syria. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Give me revelation. Revelation. Right. That's right. Again at chapter 1. Chapter 1. I want to establish who it's talking about. Amen. Then we go down to verse 7 and 8. First in Revelation 1 and at verse 1. Listen. The revelation of Jesus Christ. All right. Amen. That means knowledge mm -hmm. of Jesus That's right. is being revealed That's right. to John, That's right. the apostle, That's right. about something Amen. about to take place. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's right. right. The revelation of who? Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You want to stop me? Amen. You missed. You missed. That's right. That's right. You missed. That's right. That's right. The revelation of who? Of Jesus Christ. Now, what did Jesus show him that he would do? Begin at verse 7. At verse 7, behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's they right. also which pierced him. They also which pierced him. Uh -huh. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. What did Jesus say? I... M Alpha and Omega. See, this is still revelation. It's still revelation. Amen. Things being revealed about the Christ. That's right. I am Alpha. Am Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. The beginning. I am the beginning. And the ending. And the ending. Saith. Saith. The Lord. The Lord. Which is. Which is. And which was. And was. And which is to come. Who is this Lord and what is he? The Almighty. And what was the revelation in reference to? The revelation of Jesus Christ. And who did Jesus say he was? The Almighty. Who was the revelation about? Jesus Christ. And what is it? The Almighty. Who was the revelation about? Jesus Christ. And who is it? Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. Witness. Amen. I preach. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is the true God. True God. Amen. And I preach he's the eternal life. That's Amen. right. Not only that. That's right. I preach when you call on God, mm -hmm. you will say, Lord Jesus. That's right. That's right. I preach that. Preach that. Amen. That's right. I don't have to use Colossians 3.17. That's where you think I'm going. That's right. Give me Acts. Chapter 7. 7.59. And at verse 59. Now, if your name is Billy, mm -hmm. and I call you Henry, mm -hmm. 
You won't answer. No, you won't. Because that's not your name. That's right. But if I say Billy, oh yeah, and that's your name, Amen. You're gonna respond. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Are you listening? That's right. Now, mm -hmm. let's see by what name, Amen. Did one of the seven, which is Stephen, that's right, call God back? Acts chapter seven and verse fifty-nine. All right. And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen, calling upon God. Calling upon God. Calling upon God. By what name? And saying, Lord Jesus. Amen. He called God and said, What? Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Calling upon God. He called God and said, What? Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And what did God do? Receive my spirit. He got an answer. Got an answer. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because he asked Go God, ahead. you know. Go ahead. Forgive them. Go Forgive a few verses above that. Uh, at verse 57. Let's make it plain. Come on. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears. Yes. And ran upon him with one accord. Yes. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. Yes. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. Yes. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God. Uh -huh. And saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He asked God to do what? Receive my spirit. And what? And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord Lord, 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 lay not this sin to their charge. And and when he had said this, he fell asleep. And who did he ask to do it? God and saying, Lord Jesus. Now, if the Lord Jesus wasn't God, Amen. why did this man get an answer? Why did he get an answer? Amen. That's right. Tell me. That's right. Now you say you are Jehovah Witness. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. We are Jehovah Witness. We are. That's right. That's right. Well, the real Jehovah Witness. Go ahead. Stand up. Stand up. That's right. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful. Hallelujah. We are the real. That's right. Jehovah Witness. Acts chapter 1. Because there was a certain testimony. That's right. That came from God to the apostles. That's right. That yeah. make us a witness. That's right. Listen at the Bible. Acts chapter 1 and at verse 8. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But ye, ye shall receive power. Shall receive power. After that. After that. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Is come upon you. Is come upon you. And ye. And ye. Shall be. Shall be. Witnesses. Witnesses. Unto God. Glory to God. Amen. You understand. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You say you're a Jehovah Witness? That's right. You're a liar. That's a lie. Amen. For when you're a Jehovah Witness, you got the Holy Ghost. That's right. And you liars don't believe don't in believe. speaking in tongues. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Do you hear what the Bible says in Acts 1 8? But ye shall receive power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ye shall receive power. After that. After the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah, is come upon the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's come upon you, and ye, and ye shall be witnesses, shall be witnesses unto me. That's what I'm busting the religion up. Hallelujah. Amen. He got the power from God. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He got the power from God. Hallelujah. 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 You understand, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That you are the real. Amen. Jehovah Witness. Amen. Then let's have the showdown. That's right. Go ahead. Go the Bible ahead. tells us Amen. we are witnesses. Witnesses. That's right. When the power of God come on. That's right. Jesus said, Terry. Terry, that's right. Go to God. Terry until. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
witnesses. Jesus say your witnesses of these things. Of these things. And behold. And behold. I send the promise. I send the promise of my father upon you. My father on you. But tarry ye. Wait. In the city of Jerusalem. In the city of Jerusalem. Until you be endued. Until you be endued with power from on high. Let's go to Jerusalem. Acts chapter two and verse Where one. Where Jehovah's Witnesses was formed. And when the day. When the day of Pentecost. Of Pentecost was fully come. Was fully come. They were all with one accord. They were all with one accord. Go ahead. With one accord. In one place. In one place. And suddenly, suddenly, there came a sound from heaven. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead. As of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house. Fill all the house. Where they were sitting. Where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them. They appeared unto them. Woven tongues. Like fire. Like and it sat upon each of them. And what was the witnesses filled with? They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? And began to speak with other tongues. How did they know it? Began to speak with other tongues. How did they know it? Began to speak with other tongues. Who gave it? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are looking at the real witnesses. That's right. Go ahead. Because the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is what make us the witness. That's right. Go ahead. Amen. It make us the witness. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. How are you a witness without the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. Amen. You are liars. That's right. You are fakers. That's right. You Jehovah's Witnesses are false prophets. That's right. And I challenge your organization Amen. from east to west. That's right. From north to south. Amen. Go ahead. I'm a witness. That's right. Now come on and step up to the plate. That's right. Go ahead. Wonderful. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Step up to the plate. That's right. Amen. There's only one witness one, in the earth. That's right. Oh, yeah. We ain't got to knock on people's doors. No, no. We don't have to give out comic books. That's right. Go knock. What we preach, knock on the hearts of men. That's right. That's right. We don't have to knock on your door. Go knock. We worship and serve the door. That's right. Jesus said, I am the I'm door. door. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. You say Jesus Christ is not God? Not God. I preach he's the true God in eternal life. That's right. First epistle of John. Chapter 5 and at Chapter verse 20. Chapter 5 and verse 20. And we know. We, oh, yes. We know. Amen. I often say, you know, maybe it's all about. That's right. No guessing. That's right. We know that the Son of God is come. That the Son of God is come. And hath given us an understanding. He gave us, hallelujah. Go ahead. An understanding, that's why we can preach it. That's right. He gave us an understanding. An understanding. That we may know. That we may know. Him that is true. Him that is true. And we are in him that is and true. And we are in him that is true. Even in his son Jesus Christ. Even in who? In his son Jesus Christ. Even in who? Jesus Christ. Even in who? Jesus Christ. Who did the Bible say Jesus Christ was? This is the true God. Amen. 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 The Bible says this. This is the is true God. The true God. That's right. And, and eternal life. He's the eternal life. That's right. Amen. Come knock on my door. That's right. I'll be glad to have you for dinner. That's right. I chew that watchtower up Amen. and spit it back at you. That's right. Yes, I'm declaring to the world. That's right. That this cult that call themselves Jehovah Witnesses are liars, right. are deceivers, and they can't back up their religion with the Bible. That's and right. if there's anyone that contradict my statement, hey. come to Frankfurt Avenue That's if right. they got the guts. That's right. Put up Amen. or shut up. That's right. Come knock on my door. That's right. Come on, take off. Come knock on my door. Come on. Behold. Come knock on my door. That's right. 
the Bible says in Revelation 3 and verse 20 behold I stand at the door I stand at the door and knock and knock if any man hear if any man hear my voice my voice and open the door and open the door I will come into him I will what hello I will come into him I will do what I will come into him that's the Holy Ghost that's the Holy Ghost go ahead go ahead that shows you the Holy Ghost is Jesus that's right I will come in to him. him and will sup with him. I will sup with him. And he with me. What you mean? I will give him peace. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. You understand? Amen. My Lord. My Lord. Jehovah Witnesses quote the scripture. They think the earth, you know, ain't going to burn up. That's right. And they quote the scripture that the earth abideth forever. Forever. And they think the earth gonna stay here. That's right. The Lord gonna clean it up. Amen. And make it, you know, mm -hmm. a fit place to live. That's right. You forgot what the word forever means. Amen. The earth abide forever. Mm -hmm. Forever has to be mm -hmm. an indefinite period of time. That's right. In which a certain thing is to be done. Amen. And once that certain thing is done or accomplished, mm -hmm. and when that thing ceases, mm -hmm. that forever concerning that thing is over. That's right. Huh? That's right. But if you say forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Now you're going into everlasting. That's right. Now you're stepping on the grounds of eternity. That's right. I preach heaven Amen. and earth. That's right. It's going to get away. But the heavens. Listen at the Bible. In 2 Peter 3 and verse 7. What is it? But the heavens and the earth. The heavens and the earth. Which are now. Now. That's right. That's right. Amen. The same earth that you walk on. Same one. And pass your comic books out. That's right. The heavens. And the earth. And the earth. Which are now. Which are now in existence. By the same word. By the same word. Are kept in store. They are kept in store. Reserved. Reserved. Unto fire. Unto fire. Against the day of judgment. Against the day of judgment. And perdition of and ungodly perdition men. And perdition of ungodly men. But beloved be not ignorant. Beloved. Jehovah Witnesses. Amen. Amen. Jehovah Witnesses. That's right. Jehovah Witnesses. Amen. Beloved. Don't be stupid. Be not ignorant ignorant of this Don't one thing. Ignorant. That's right. Don't be that hell bound. That's right. Huh? That's right. What? Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. What is the one thing? That one day is with the Lord as one a thousand day years. With the Lord is as a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. What else? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. But what? Some men count slackness. Uh -huh. But is long suffering to us with. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. But. But. The day of the Lord Amen. will come. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's, it's on its way. On its way. That's right. It's not here yet. No, no. That's the name of God. Amen. Yet this is after it is written, the earth abided forever. Forever. That's right. So now you're going to have to make those scriptures harmonize. Oh, yeah. And not make the scriptures butt heads. That's right. Huh? But the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Will come. Will come. As a thief in the night. As a, he going to creep up on you. Creep up on you. And what's going to happen? In the which the heavens shall pass the away. The heavens shall pass away with a great noise with a great noise and the elements shall the melt the elements dealing with the planets the stars shall melt with the fervent sun, the heat the moon all that gonna melt mm -hmm. by the loving God that's right with fervent heat right. the earth also the earth also and the works that are therein Jehovah witness you a little work in the earth that's right amen huh? amen all you religions are little works in the earth that's right amen and the Bible says the earth also, the earth also and the works, and the that works are therein, therein shall be burned up no he's a loving God he won't do it shall be burned up hush your mouth burned up hush your mouth burned up he ain't gonna do that the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up oh just quick God ain't doing that he's loving shall be burned up he's loving WWW God shall be burned up Amen. He don't love you that much. He won't throw you in hell. That's right. Amen. That's right. Shall be burned up. Seeing then, seeing then, that all these things all shall be dissolved. All these things 
shall remain forever. All these things shall be dissolved. All these things shall remain forever. All these things shall be dissolved. These things are going to dissolve. What manner of persons ought ye to be? Of, being that you got this news now. That's right. What type of person should you be? In all holy conversation. In your talk. And godliness. And living right. Looking for. We are looking for. And hasting unto and the coming. hasting unto the coming. Of the day of God. Of the day of God. Wherein the heavens and being listen, on fire. That day come the heavens going to be on fire. Fire shall be dissolved. It's gonna be dissolved, and the elements shall and the melt. Elements shall melt with fervent heat. With fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, nevertheless, we, according to His promise, according to His promise, look for new heavens. Look for what? New heavens. Amen. You think I'm gonna take you? That's right. Over the Apostle John. Amen, Peter. Peter. Or Peter. That's right. Or Isaiah. Or Isaiah. Or Jeremiah. That's right. Go ahead. We have a more sure word of prophecy. That's right. Yeah, Lord. New heavens. You understand what this up? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. But we that are God people are on the lookout. Look out. That's right. That's right. Holy Ghost say, look up for your redemption draw not. Amen. We're on the lookout for something. That's right. What did he say? Nevertheless, we according to his we promise. We according to his promise. Look for new heaven. Look for new heaven. And a new earth. And new earth. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Listen. That's what we're looking for. What we're looking for. And don't you know, when this old earth pass away, none of the things that happen here will come to your mind. That's right. Let's get Bible for it. Amen. Move Isaiah. Quick. Amen. In the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 65. You Jehovah Witnesses are liars. Yes, they are. Yeah. Come on, son. Isaiah 65 and verse 17. You going to sock me? <laughs> Amen. You better go back and get some more training, fella. That's right. I've been sparring in this holy ring a good while. Oh, yeah. Huh? Amen. I know how to dodge your punches. That's right. While I'm falling back, I know how to hit you with scripture. That's right. I know how to get right with your false religion. Oh, and yeah. And give you body blows. That's right. Right from the Bible. Amen. I love to get right up on me. That's right. That's right. Bible says you shall be shot and wounded. Amen. What did he say? Isaiah 65 and verse 17. Isaiah 65, 17. For behold, I create. Behold, I create. New heavens. New heavens. And a new earth. And a new earth. And the former. And the what? And the former. For you to have a former. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got to have something before the new. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. Now. Go ahead. When you say ah. Uh, Sears was my former employer. Mm -hmm. That means I've passed. Amen. I once was there. That's right. The Bible says, and the former, the former shall not be remembered. That lets you know there were some thoughts of the former world. That's right. Some activity of the former world. Because the former troubles, the former troubles are forgotten, are forgotten, and because they are hid, and because they are hid from mine eyes. So when the Bible said the earth abide forever, that's too deep for you. Yes, it is. That scripture is just too deep for you. That's right. So you're so busy knocking on the doors. That's right. Here's God knocking on my understanding. Amen. And he's opening up all things for me. That's right. Yea, even the deep things of God. That's right. I'm able to take a scripture of the earth abide forever and tell you it won't be here forever and ever. Amen. Right. Forever is a diff an indefinite period of time. That's right. In which man deeds will be performed on the earth. Mm -hmm. And that the man time is up on the earth, Amen. then the end of all things will be at hand. That's right. And God will remove this earth away. That's right. You don't Amen. know what you're talking. Don't know what you're talking. And they're gonna bring a new heaven That's and right. a new earth new because earth. on the new earth, New Jerusalem gonna be set up. In Revelation yeah. chapter twenty-one. Revelation chapter twenty-one. And at verse one. Verse one. And I saw a new heaven. I saw the new heaven and a new earth. New earth. For the first heaven. The first heaven. And the first earth. And the first earth were passed away. Someone say, "Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute!" <laughs> That goes to show you this is the second earth because God destroyed the first earth with water. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, no. So I'm saying he destroyed the whole the old world. That's true, but he didn't destroy the old earth. Not the earth. <laughs> That's right. That's too deep for you. Amen. Huh? That's right. The Bible said God so loved the world. The world. That's right. That he gave his only begotten son. That's right. What world? The people. People, amen. He destroyed the old world. He destroyed the people. That's but the right. planet stays intact. Planet, planet this time the whole planet is going. That's right. 
Didn't see that, did you? Amen. He destroyed the old world, but not the earth. That's right. That's a curveball. Curve. Amen. You swung. Yeah, you missed. Missed. That's right. You missed it. Missed it. Amen. You don't get the language in the back. No, no. He destroyed the old world mm -hmm. with water. With water. But the earth stayed intact. That's right. If the earth wasn't here, how can the water subside? That's right. If the planet not here, how can the water subside? Amen. If there's nothing here, where can the water go? That's right. Huh? Amen. And if the earth or the planet wasn't here, how can the bird bring a plant back in his mouth? That's right. If the earth wasn't here, the planet wasn't here, why would Noah even have a window upward to look at the sea of clouds? Amen. If the earth wasn't here, it wouldn't be no first heaven here. No, no. Go ahead. That's one of the reserves. That's right. We on a reserve planet. Reserve planet. Amen. It's reserve. So God can burn it up. Burn it up. Amen. You going with it, witness? Oh yes. Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. Amen. You going with it? Going with it. That's right. Glory to God. What did He say? And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. That's what we're laboring for, aren't we, folks? Amen. And this is what the religion of holiness is all about. That's right. Truth. Truth. And nothing mm -hmm. but the truth. That's right. So help us God. Amen. You understand? Amen. What did he say there? And I saw a new heaven and a new I earth. I saw a new heaven. New earth. There ain't no, there's not going to be no big vacuum cleaner sweeping vacuum through cleaner. here. Yes. Yeah. Big old vacuum cleaner. Big hoover. That's right. Pushed by an angel. Amen. Amen. Slapping through the heavens. That's right. Sucking up all the filth. My Lord. You going to hell. That's right. Amen. Jehovah Witness. Jehovah's Witness. Hey, Witness. Mm -hmm. The hell you going? Amen. Amen. What qualify you to be a witness? You got to have the Holy Ghost. That's right. You don't believe in speaking in tongue, nor do you believe in the baptism. No. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No, they don't. Give me Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Then, then Peter said unto them, Repent. Then Peter said, Knock on folks' doors. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Then Peter said, Give out a watchtower. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. No, bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ where you sit at. Repent. Join the church. Repent. Prayer sinners' prayer. Repent. Hour of decision. Repent. All that fake garbage you religious folk got. That's right. Touch the television and repeat a sinners' prayer. Repent. I want some repentance. Repentance. He wants you to feel some remorse about your wickedness. That's right. That's right. Not bow your head and recite some old prayer. No, no. You got to get sorry about your devilish wickedness. That's right. All right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of God. That's right. No sprinkling. No sprinkling. You that's of Daddy Grace Wicked Movement. Amen. House of Prayer for all devils. <laughs> that's right. Get out from under the holes. Get out from under there. That's A right. fire hose is made for fire. That's right. They don't put out sin. No, no. They put out fire. Amen. Amen. You hear the Bible talking? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh, and said, why you preach like that? God made me a battle axe. That's right. A weapon of war. Amen. And a battle axe ain't used to cut chicken. No, it no. It ain't used to peel potatoes. No, no. Thank God it's used to put an end to everything that's not like God. That's right. That's right. If you want to play church, you look at the wrong program. Amen. If you're looking for entertainment, wrong program. That's right. If you're looking to keep your second wife, <laughs> wrong program. Wrong woman. Amen. Woman, mm -hmm. if you're looking for your preaching to be condoned, Amen. Wrong, wrong program. That's right. You sisters and gay folk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Now, if you want to get right, right. this is the right program. This is the right thing. I remember a man wrote me from, I believe, Omaha, Nebraska. Yes, sir. Heard our radio broadcast there. Mm -hmm. Wrote me and let me know that he was dippity doo dah. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> Zippity yay. Yes, my oh my, what a lustful day. Yes, sir. Amen. He truly wanted plenty of sunshine. Yes, my Lord. They come his way and he asked me. Can't, I, I love to hear your voice. 
Amen. Can I love you more than loving you as a man of God? That's right. Not here. No, no. Amen. You drive on. That's right. Drive on. Amen. Drive on. That's right. Sodom and Gomorrah is a forbidden place. Yes, it is. Amen. All right, listen. That's right. The Apostle Peter said what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. And be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is the purpose of baptism? For the remission of sins. Remission means removal. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your sins must be washed away. Washed away. Not dry cleaned away. That's right. Bowing head, raising hand, set Christ as your personal Savior, join the church. Mm -hmm. Some of you folk write me and say, you know, I enjoy your program and I know it's the truth and everything you preach against, I see it in my church. What you keep going there for? Amen. Right, Amen. Amen. The most good question. What do you keep going there for? That's right. You know that you, you know the Bible is against women preachers and you keep sitting there giving tithing and offering. Amen. That's, that's right. Amen. Some old long polished fingernail gay bishop. Amen. And you sitting there looking at Amen. Complaining, but you won't leave the doll, baby. That's right. You want to right. keep looking at Barbie and Ken. Amen. One of them husband and wives ministries. That's right. Huh? Go ahead. Repent. Repent. That's, right. That's why you're so wicked. You ain't repenting for nothing. That's right. And be baptized. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of God. That's the name of Jehovah. That's the name of I am. That's the name of the rock. That's the name of the stone. That's the name of the hand. That's the name of the branch. That's right. That's right. One name. One name. That's the name of the Father. Amen. That's the name of Emmanuel. That's right. One name. One name. That's what makes it so wonderful. Amen. That's what gives me consolation. Oh, yeah. That's what proves to me he's the mighty God. That's true. I'm able to look at his ability of being the everlasting father. That's right. And he settled my mind and performed peace. Peace. Do you understand? That's right. Do what? Repent and be baptized, every one of you. All right, America. Amen. That's what you got to do. Got to do it. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. What else? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Notice the Jehovah's Witness teach you don't need no Holy Ghost. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. No, it ain't no Holy Ghost now. Amen. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ah, I ain't no Holy Ghost speaking in tongue now. Amen. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you. That's why we have it. And to your children. Some of our children even have. That's right. And to all that are afar off. There are folk now that hear us in Australia that have the Holy Ghost. That's in right. Africa that have the Holy Ghost. That's right. In New Zealand that have the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Bangkok that have the Holy Ghost. That's right. In Japan that have the Holy Ghost. In Korea that have the Holy Ghost. In Canada that have the Holy Ghost. In England that have the Holy Ghost. In Rome, Italy that have the Holy Ghost. Wonderful. Amen. It's Amen. given now. It's given. It's still being it's still given. given. And it's still falling. That's right. Upon those that believe. That's right. You may say, why don't I speak in time? Mm -hmm. Don't everyone supposed to speak? No, sir. No. <laughs> Someone say, what? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. No, everyone not going to speak. In Mark chapter 16. Let me show you who's speaking in tongues for. Mark chapter 16 and verse 17. What is that? And these signs shall follow them that believe. That believe. They shall speak with new tongues. Speaking in tongues for believers. That's right. Oh, yeah. You wonder why you Jehovah Witnesses, your mouth can't get busy? Amen. You're not a believer. Not a believer. You got Jesus, mm -hmm. second person in the Godhead. That's right. I preach that Jesus is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Colossians 2. The fullness of a thing is all of it. All of it. That's right. Listen at the Bible. In Colossians chapter 2 and at verse 9. Yeah. For in him. In him. Dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Do you know by Jesus all things consist? That's right. In Colossians. Well if everything was made by him that would make him God. That's right. Look at the book of Colossians. In Colossians chapter you 1. You see all this Bible? And at verse 13. Do you see all this Bible? That's right. See, you Jehovah's Witnesses, you just read a bunch of scriptures. Yeah. 
but you're not able to properly interpret or properly explain them at all. At all. Until you know who Jesus is. Mm-hmm. You're like vagabonds. That's right. That's why I see so many clusters of you like hornets. Amen. Wandering like mole people. Oh, yeah. Amen. Wandering. Wandering. Like a bunch of <laughs> nomads. That's right. Wandering packs like wildebeest. That's right. Knock on folks' doors. Knock, knocking on doors. That's right, sir. You're a bunch of beggars. That's right. That's right. You're peddlers. Amen. You peddle out false doctrine. False doctrine. I want to encourage all listeners and viewers. Don't patronize Amen. the Jehovah Witness Watchtower magazine Amen. no more. That's right. Don't let them come to your house Amen. for a Bible study. That's right. That's right. You want to buy something? Amen. You want to buy something? Amen. Let's see what the Bible tell you to buy. Mm-hmm. Let's get Bible, Williams. Amen. I'm going to show you what to buy. Mm-hmm. Don't you patronize Jehovah Witness no more. Well, if you got a Bible study, when they come back, tell them, get out of here. That's right. That's what right. I thought, you thought wrong. Thought wrong. That's right. Get out. That's right. If it's your father, mm-hmm. he's a Jehovah Witness false prophet. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. And you want to buy something? Here it is. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 23. Hear what? By the truth. No, by the watchtower. By the truth. 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 And sell it not. That's right. Amen. No money needed. No money needed. Someone say, well, how can I buy it? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? What's exchange? You come up to truth, mm-hmm. and truth come in you. That's right. How you buy it? By giving yourself over to it. That's, That's right. You got to repent of your sins and go down in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus mm-hmm. and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and then take your time and follow the doctrine of the apostles. That's and it. this is that. Amen. Yeah, this, is that. Yeah. this is that. This is that thing that the prophets talked about. Yes, it is. This is what Jesus preached. That's right. And this is what the apostles stood for. That's right. This is a good faith. Yes, it is. One Lord, one faith. That's right. One baptism. That's right. One God. That's right. One Father. That's right. One church. Mm-hmm. One faith. Amen. One standard. This is. Listen at the Bible. In Job 9 and at verse 22. This is one thing. This is two things. This is one thing. Ah, this is two things. This is one thing. This is one thing. Therefore, therefore, I said it. That's right. Amen. Amen. This Bible is so good, isn't it? Yes, it is. You said two gods. Amen. There's only one thing up there. One thing. And to us, there's only one up there. That's right. Let me the book of Corinthians. Corinthians. Amen. How much time do I have back there in the studio room? Let me know something. How much time do I have? Fifteen minutes? All right. Come on, sir. Amen. First Corinthians, I believe, chapter 8. First Corinthians, chapter 8. Begin at verse 7. And at verse 7. Come on. At verse 6. Verse 6. But to us. But to who? To us. To us. There is but one God. No, to us there's two gods. But to us there is but one God. How many? One God. How many? One God. What you say, Mr. Witness? Amen. We preach this Jesus Christ as God strong. That's right. We preach it. We even sang it. Even Jesus sing. Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the maker of our soul. Yes, he calls of creation. I love him.
appreciate it and we understand it. Amen. Amen. Once in a while, I like to take a break and just sing about it. That's right. Come on, take off. That's right. Hallelujah. Wonderful. He's God Almighty. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in him, mm-hmm. well, if all the fullness yes. of the Godhead bodily. That's right. Is not in Master Fadad Muhammad. No, no. Amen. Is it in Buddha, brothers? No, no. no. Is it in Buddha? No, sir. Is it in Mary? No, sir. Is it in Elijah Muhammad? No, sir. Is it in Farrakhan? No, no, sir. Is it in Reverend Moon? No, sir. Is it in the Pope? No, no. Is it in Billy Graham? No, no. Is it in Fred Price? No, no. Is it in Rex Humber? No, no. Wonderful. Is it in me? No, no. Talk back to me. That's right. No, no sir. Is it in you? No, no. It's all in God. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. That's a big God. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it's preaching. all in Him. That's preaching. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Go fullness ahead. of the Godhead body. That's right. Go ahead. Bless it be God. Go ahead. It's all in Him. Go ahead. Amen. When you religions, your little petty leader, Amen. when he makes himself the Messiah, oh, yes. or make himself a God, that's right. Your religion is of the devil out of hell. Of the devil. That's right. When you call your preacher blessedness, yes, Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. That's right. According to the Bible, there's only one blessing. One blessing. That's right. Wonderful. And we're looking for him. Looking for him. Get the book of Titus. Titus, that's right. Titus chapter How 2. How are we in the Bible? Titus chapter 2. Glory to God. And at verse 13. Titus 2 13. Looking for. Looking for. Looking for. Looking for. That blessed hope. That blessed. That's right. Hope. And the glorious appearance. And the glorious appearance. Of the great God. Of the great God. And our Savior. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 One God here. One God. That's what make my preaching so tough. <laughs> That's right. Here, O Israel. That's right. Here, O America. Here, here. Here, O Canada. That's right. Here, South America and Asia. That's right. The Lord, our God, is one, one Lord. One Lord. Amen. Oh, I wish I had a statue in here that I can beat up. Beat. That's right. That's right. The Lord, our God. Lord, our God is one Lord. One. One Lord. He's not clay. No, he's not. He's not a form of pottery. That's right. And he's not a man. Not a man. That's right, sir. That's right. You don't dwell in temples made with hands. No, no. But he is eternal in the heavens. That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says in the book of Psalms? In Psalms 96 and at verse 5. Listen. For all the gods of the nations are idols. That's why you folk crazy about Farrakhan. Mm-hmm. He's a national god. That's right. Our god is a universal one. Universal. That's why you are crazy about Mr. Moon. That's and right. you moonies. That's you Branhamites that watch us and listen to us. Mm-hmm. Lovers of William Branham. Amen. Who preached a lot of truth. But if he was a true messenger of God, you wouldn't call yourself Branhamites. No, no. Because we're not supposed to take on the name of some man. No, no. The Bible says we are bought with the price. That's right. It is the name of the Lord Jesus that classifies us. We are the saints of the most.